part of the Young Scientist program is that when I go to visit each elementary school, I ask the kids, the office staff, the faculty, the principal, what do you think your school needs? And unfortunately over at Weems Elementary School, the students don't get PE, but hey, let's do a health and fitness studio. Uh, I partnered with the Division of Physical Therapy. Okay. One, two, two, three, four. And biokinesiology, because I wanted the content to be at the highest quality. We had the fourth and fifth graders sign up. We had four stations. One was a nutrition station, so I hired a nutritionist. I bet you don't know how to make spaghetti the way we're going to make it. And she taught the kids how to make a healthy snack. They cooked us spaghetti squash. All the ingredients were really basic. And then sort of how to prepare the food, to wash it, to cut it properly. We wanted students to be able to cook their own food, but know what was in it, what they were making. And we wanted them to sort of take ownership, and the kids loved it. The second station we had was a cardio station. Dr. Cheryl Resnick's program supplied me with 15 PT students. Her team managed the content there. So while the kids were running around, they said, hey, where's your bicep? And they did different activities to remember what they had learned in the lecture. And then the PT students also monitored the yoga station. And I chose yoga because it just gives the students a moment to take time for themselves, to reflect on their day. And I wanted the little kids to, to know that, you know what, I can do yoga too. So this is the first step of the pose. And then the fourth station that we had was the gardening station. So we wanted them to learn how to plant their own food. And I hired an assistant designer to help me develop planters where the kids would plant like squash, cilantro, exactly what they were cooking in their nutrition studio. And so they would learn vitamin C and vitamin D are good for these muscles. I have a really good feeling that, you know, those plants are gonna grow and they're always gonna remember because they got to take home the planters. So this is the second studio project I've done. I did a sustainability studio at Vermont in the spring and the Vermont staff had noticed that there was a lot of trash on the ground and they had lost one of their custodians. The first group worked on a large scale sustainability mural and then the second station we had them build small scale models of what they think their recycling station would look like if they had one at home or if they had one at Vermont and then we decorated and we painted recycling bins that I'd purchased. We hired a mobile mural lab and it's a, a bunch of public artists. They actually taught the kids how to paint. We will start at the bottom and then work our way up. So the kids learned on the truck about color theory, paint texture, paint qualities, the color wheel, how things match. Kids loved it. What makes Young Science Program so special are these kinds of projects and the fact that the students get the opportunity to go out there and work in real life situations where there's a manager, project manager involved, where there's budgets involved, where they lean to learn professionalism and responsibility. I feel like it's a crash business course. So every semester, it's kind of my gift to them and I've been really lucky to have funding from the Lisa and, and Douglas Goldman Foundation.